Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Dr. Lee and I come from Bukit Matajam, Pulau Pinang or what you call Penang. Right now, I'm staying in Kurang Johor. So first of all, I would like to welcome you to join my new program. This is a totally a revision program, a revision of my book one, 38 chapters all together. So what you are seeing on the board now, lesson 19 is the same as this book, level, uh, level one, and it is the same. The contents are the same. So in this book, lesson 19 is a simple present tense. What you see on the board. But the questions in this book, the questions in this whole book are not the same. They are not the same as what you see on the board. So for those of you who have bought this book, you are actually doing two times. This is the second round. Before my book two comes out, before my book two is published, okay? So to let you know, book two now is in progress. I'm doing it now. So um, whatever I have to say, I will say later. I would like to go straight into the lesson. So we are now at lesson 19, simple present tense. You remember. The first time I did with you was when I used the word every. So remember that when you use the word every, you must remember that it is simple present tense. And simple present tense is I, you, we, they. The verb here you cannot put S. But he, she, it, yes, the verb you need to put S. Besides every. My second part, simple present tense, was a general truth. Things that are true. Things that never change. Whatever happens, they never change. And um, I would say uh, they are facts. Scientific facts or geographical facts. Just take for example, scientific fact. Water boils. When does water boil? Even when there's no one on this earth, water, will still boil. water still boils at 100 degrees Celsius. The sun still rises in the east. So all these facts, things that do not change, we need to use them. We need to use simple present tense. So I, you, we, they cannot put S. He, she, it, you must put S. And we call them simple present tense. And the third one was, uh, I remember, is uh, when we use the word always. When we use the word sometimes. It is the same. When you use sometimes or always, when you speak, when you write, or you don't even speak or write, but your meaning is always or sometimes, then the same thing happens. They belong to the simple present tense. I, you, we, they. Cannot put S to the verb. He, she, it, yes. You put S to the verb. So here, for this lesson, we are going to learn three more words. Seldom, often, and usually. All these three words are under simple present tense. That means, I, you, we, they, you don't put S to the verb. But he, she, it, you put S to the verb. They seldom come to our house. Look at they. They. They, you cannot put S. So it's come. And then seldom. He often visits his uncle in Singapore. He. He, the verb you must put as, so visits. I usually eat at home. I, I cannot put as, I cannot put as. When you use the word usually, you mean simple present tense. She seldom plays badminton with her sister. He, she, it, the verb you must put as, plays. And this word seldom comes under simple present tense. You often plant flowers in your garden. You, you, the verb cannot put S, so plant, no S. It usually sleeps under the table. For example, the little kitten, the small cat. So he, she, it, the verb you must put S, so sleeps, you have to put S. And the word often, usually, seldom belongs to simple present tense. I, you, we, they, don't put S, 
he, she, it put S to the verb. We seldom watch television in the evening. We, we cannot put S, cannot put S. The boy often swims in the river. The boy, one boy, one boy means he. He, the verb, you must put S. And I think I should underline here, right? The boys. The boys with an S here, that is many boys. Many boys, boys means they. I, you, we, they. The verb cannot put S. So here, swim, you cannot put S. But here, the boy, one boy, so the verb, you must put S. Okay, so I hope you understand this uh, topic on uh, often, usually, and seldom. We use simple present tense. So, I, you, we, they, the verb cannot put S. He, she, it, the verb you put S. Okay? And some announcements. You know that my book is coming up, book 2. And uh, September, I have new online classes. Speaking, make sentences, reading, grammar. In July, I started two classes. One class is uh, reading and grammar. Another class is uh, grammar, only grammar. And this class is already now the fifth week, uh, lesson five. Five weeks already we have uh, gone through. This week will be the fifth week. And um, this will be the, the new course. The new courses. So, one thing, one other thing is uh, about this book. So, I still have people requesting or asking me whether they can buy book one, Dr. Lee's method level one. And uh, the answer is yes, you can buy. But not now. There is no stock now. Because of, you know, the MCO, EMCO, FMCO, so the factories cannot operate. The printing uh, companies are not operating. So for now, I cannot uh, give you any books. But if you want to buy, you can book first. You can make a booking first. You can reserve first. Okay? So uh, there are three things you want to know. Firstly, book two is in process. Secondly, is uh, in the month of September, there will be new courses. And thirdly, uh, book one. If you want to buy this book, book one, uh, you just have to WhatsApp to me. 019-7878-299. WhatsApp to me and tell me what you want. Then I will arrange for you. Um, there are still people who ask in the YouTube comment, you know, how do I get the book? And then they say they watch my videos. But every video, I mention that if you want to buy my book, you need to WhatsApp me. So remember this. Uh, if you want to buy my book, book one for now, book two coming out, and um, new courses for September, and knowing that book two is coming out soon. So if you want to join my courses, or if you want to buy my book one, remember to WhatsApp me, 019. 7878299. And as you know, this book is the foundation. You may feel that it is very easy for you. You may feel that. And I I think it's okay to feel that because um, some people's standard are already, you know, the standard is already high. So maybe book one is not suitable for them. They might want to wait until book four or book five, you know. The highest level is book 7. Level 7, that will be the highest. Of course, in between, I'm planning to um, set model tests, you know, the whole book. Uh, all, the, all the tenses are mixed, you know. Uh, maybe I use objective style or subjective style so that um, you can really know how to do, you know, because it's um, all mixed together, not only one. And... Uh, I have also thought of uh, setting questions where you identify the mistakes. So that, really it takes a long time, you know. You know, I'm not a full-time author. If I were a full-time author, it would be different. I can, you know, just keep publishing books. The problem is I'm not. 
you know, I'm really not. I'm a full time. I'm a full time teacher. I have um, many classes to teach, and I have to, you know, after my classes, after I have prepared for the next lesson, I use whatever little time I have to to write my book. So, it it really takes time. Seriously, it takes a long time, just for one book, one book to come out. You know, I started last year in June. My first book was published. Now it's August. The second book is not even ready, so it really takes time. I hope you understand. And in between, I have um, online classes for my YouTube subscribers and their friends or relatives or their children. So again, that I have to allocate time, and I need to prepare. So that's why the leftover time, sometimes I feel that there's so little time for me. And in between, you know, I do upload videos in my YouTube channel. I can't let that stop, you know, the YouTube channel. Because you can't be doing something and then you stop for a long time and then you come back again. You know. This is something that is ongoing. So this book has 38 chapters altogether. And um, these 38 chapters will follow us all the way. So in book two, in book two, you will see these 38 chapters again. Okay, until the last level. All right. So, um, because these 38 chapters are the most important chapters uh, in grammar, okay, they are the foundation. So, that's all for this lesson. I hope you give me a like, share, and subscribe. And until we meet again in the next video, okay, which is coming soon. All right, goodbye, everyone.